Okay, we're live. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I cannot see the chat. Um, yeah, hopefully you can hear me okay. I cannot see the chat, so if anyone's asking anything, um, I'll, I'll get to it once, once I've done gone through this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just got this today. This is from a company called Rawhex. They make the Hideot kit, which is a hardware hacking kit, among other things. And um, they make a lot of stuff. And I, I reached out to them um, f about a month ago and I'd said, look, um, find your business card. It was an old barred business card in the back of a pocket whenever I met them at B-Sides in London a few years ago. And um, on their website, they said they weren't shipping at the minute because of COVID. So I sent them a message said, hey, look, I do videos and shit like that. I'd, I'd really love to do a video on the Hideot kit. You know, are you still selling them? Can I buy one? And they replied back saying, eh, we're not really selling them at the minute, but um, do you want a care package of lots of different stuff? I was like, sure. <laughs> and after a bit of back and forth talking with them, this, this, this is what they've sent me. Um, oh, before I forget, I have to mention um, David Parr's flower, uh, David Parr's, David Parr's flower powered Tarshar R. That's it. David Parr's flower powered Tarshar R. They'll know what it means. And um, so they, they sent me this out. I've already had a quick rummage through, and. It's it's insane um, what what they've sent out. Um, can you hear me okay? By the way, the cameras up or the microphones up there. So I'm gonna come round and check comments to see if someone can say if it's uh, if you can hear me. Yep, we'll go with that. Uh, anyone shout? Are you able to hear me okay? Whenever I'm standing over there, obviously no. The audio is probably different. Yes, I can. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. So, um, first thing that's sent out, I'm super excited about, uh, some stickers. Everyone knows hackers love stickers. I am no exception. We've got, hopefully you can see it, I, I want to break free. And, and brackets, because I want to get out of strings, obviously. This one, this, this one tickled me. I've been a BS, <laughs> BSD boy. I love that one. Um, and then uh, ring zero dot training. I haven't actually went to that site to see what they do, but you know, looks cool. So they sent me a ton of stickers. There are some more, more stickers than I could ever plaster any of my uh, computers in. So um, if we go to conferences and stuff, I'll, I'll I'll be taking some of them with me. And some more go hard or go om. And the other side was uh, I think be a hardware hacker. I agree. Uh, what else? This one is, I sent out, it's an LED, LED strip, programmable, I believe, so I think you could use this for the likes of, you know, those whenever you see those like strobing lights and stuff going up and down, um, I think you can make them out of it, but they're, they're just strips with uh, with a LED on them, they're quite cool. Uh, I believe they're all connected, so you could actually just power them all as one big strip, I think, if I'm not much mistaken. This I thought was quite cool. Um, I seen this years ago. In fact, it's 2015 is the, uh, the the copyright date, so I assume it was in and around then that they released these. This is the BBC micro bit. If you're in America, you probably don't know what the BBC is. They're a uh, broadcasting organization, so like, I don't know, like CNN or something like that if you're American. But they made this, it's a little uh, STEM, STEM, I think, science, technology, maths, Something. Science, tech, I'm missing, engineering and maths, that's it. Um, it's a little STEM kit, made by Element 14. Check them out, you should actually know them, I think they're American. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's a little STEM kit, it's got lots of little projects and stuff on it. So that's quite cool. I looked at one of these whenever it first came out and didn't get one, I can't remember why not. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what can be done with that and more importantly, what can be broken on that. Uh, this one, this is amazing. Okay, and you're gonna look at it and go, okay, why is that amazing? And I have to explain why. So this, as you might be able to see, is a screen, LCD screen. 
nothing special about that. What's amazing about this is that if you go to hack the box, uh, oh, hang on, two seconds. I just realised my phone is on vibrate. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, is that alright? Phone is on vibrate and I really you can hear that whenever it comes through the, the thing. The reason that this is this is so, I don't know, fortuitous might be the right word, I'm not sure. If you go on the hack the box uh, right now, they have challenges and they range from all things. So it's not just you know hacking a a server of some shape or form, it's you know, different, they've got OSINT challenges, forensics, all that good stuff. They also have hardware hacking, which I am loving. Um, I would recommend going through it. You can uh, you can get through it with no knowledge, at least the first few boxes, not a problem, and it can help you get a feel for what it's like to hack hardware and, and sort of the things that you look for. One of the boxes, and one of the ones that I'm working on at the minute, they give you a picture of a screen and the back of it, and they've got two probes connected to the SDA and the SCL cables, and you have to decrypt what that, uh, it's a pin, so whatever they send a pin, basically the flag for the box, is going across and into these and you've got the signal output. Now, I'm trying to do it in software and I think that's how they're meant, they expect you to do it. So you take it and then you run it through a program that you either write or get from somewhere that then decodes it and gets the the um, the flag back from the message that the, the screen's getting. Because it's really easy to actually interpret the signal and work out, you know, okay, well this is sending a signal of binary X, Y, Z. Um, but because it's relating to a pixel on the screen, on the LCD screen, you have to try and work out, okay, well, this chunk, this these eight bits, what are they actually represent? Are they an E and F, whatever? And I, while I was fighting with this, I thought this would be a damn sight easier if I had the screen with the right module, I could just feed it the signal that I've got and read what the fucking flag is. And as I thought about that, this arrived and opened it up and lo and behold, screen with uh, the right um, I2C uh, connector on it. So, cool. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I'm gonna feed it the signal. I think that might actually make quite a cool video. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and uh, get the flag that way. So, you know, hardware hacking, may as well try and use some hardware. So that, that is why I was so excited about a screen. I know that's kind of silly, but hey. Uh, uh, what will go for next? This. Okay, so they said they were going to send out some. Uh, oh, that someone was at the door. Um, they were going to send out some badges. So they made some badges with like LEDs and uh, some logic in them. Uh, B side Lisbon and the 44 coin. So, I mean, this is quite a bulky bag for a couple of badges, to be fair. But let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. They, they haven't sent me out, they haven't sent me out a couple of badges, they've sent me out a ton of badges. That is a lot of the uh, 44 coin, 44 coin. Uh, wow, okay, yeah, a lot of the 44 coin. And then, let's see. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and the B sides, uh, Lisbon badges. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the, uh, the 44 coin, sorry. 44 coin. I am convinced I'm hearing someone knocking. Huh. What's in the box? Oh, hey, John. Well, you know, you could, we could maybe go live together and we could talk about it. Uh, definitely a ghost bro. Yeah, it must be. I, sw I swear to God. It sounds like someone rapping on the glass and I, I was thinking it was maybe Cybersec Mama. Um, but yes, so that's the 4-4 uh, coin. The cool. And then the uh, B-sides uh, Lisbon badges. Um, actually, let's just, let's just get one of the sides, shall we? That's the B-side uh, Lisbon. So um, it takes a little uh, little coin cell battery on the back, uh, 80 tiny, oh 80 tinies, did, uh, did they send me 80 tinies? Um, a little circuit on the back and you can press it and it does things. Um, 
sent me a, a bag of red LEDs, battery holders uh, for the bag. Ah, okay, AT Tiny. These the I, AT Tinies are really cool. Um, I am possibly well, I should really be wearing an anti-static bracelet. It's holding these, but um, well, there we are. Uh, so those basically, if you've ever worked with an Arduino. These are basically the chips that are, are running them. Now it's not an AT Tiny. It's a, uh, uh, I think a, a Nano has an AT three something something three hundred and something. And um, so these are smaller microcontrollers, but they are basically the same chip. All that extra fluff is just to give in, on the Nanos being able to interface with it easier, being able to plug into USB. These don't have that, but if you have a project like, for sake of argument, the um, the Lisbon badges. You don't really want to stick a massive, even the small Arduinos onto the back of it. You can just use those, which is what most engineers actually do. Um, it's actually quite cool. You can program these, uh, which is the difficult part if you don't have a, a nano, and um, just being able to USB it in. Um, you can actually uh, flash these using a Arduino as a sort of go-between, um, which is quite cool. And I think I have a programmer for these sitting somewhere. But I might do a video on that I'd say as well on, on programming these from the um, from the Arduino because it's it's quite um, quite handy. I just realised I said go live and then walked away, so I've no idea if he's sitting there pending. Uh, not dressed for the occasion. Oh, okay, and I am. And I am dressed for the occasion. Look, look, pajamas, comfy, bruh. Um, so yeah, so that's a ton of microcontrollers. And he's saying code and instructions from Steve. So uh, Steve is, is one of the, the people um, who I was talking to. So that, that's good. Um, actually, I'll see what his instructions are. He might have an even easier way of programming these rather than going through an Arduino or using a programmer. Um, so we shall see. So I've got that, got that. Yellow LEDs. And some tactile switches. Cool. That's... That's a lot of badges. This bag is getting ridiculous. Um, oh, also speaking of AT Tiny, I do with an AT Tiny. This is the little bad USB that I showed um, a while ago. Uh, it's not a bad USB. It's, I mean, at the minute this is unflashed. This is doing nothing. But this this is running the AT Tiny now. It's an SMD, so surface mount um, variant of it. But I actually think is it a? Yeah. Pretty sure it's an AT Tiny. Pretty sure it's the same IC, but that's that's the kind of shit you can do with these. You know, you plug you know, something as small as that under the right board with the right connections, you can make a bad USB. So they are very very cool things. Um, very cool indeed. I'm going to check message again. I know I said I wouldn't, but um, you know, uh, a little hacking sleepover. Exactly. You got it. You got it. Hacking sleepover. Uh, oh, and here, here are the idiots. So, um, yeah. So they said that. Wow. Like I like I asked to buy a couple of these, and they sent me out one, two, three, four, a lot, a lot of these. Um, I'm gonna open this one just to get the. PCB for you to see because this is just so so nice. That's the PCB there. And then that and that amazing. It's just such a nice looking PCB. Obviously it's yeah, you USB ports so you can plug it into your computer. Um so I believe you can actually program the AT Tiny just from uh from the board. It's just so nice, and th th so this is this is the hardware hacking tutorial kit. So you can build this thing, and then you can probe it and do all sorts of things, and see the signals, inject your own signals, all that good stuff. Very cool kits. Uh, and there is their business card. I have a very beat up version of this <laughs> that that was in a back pocket. Um, I mean, it must have been in my jeans or jacket pocket. I can't remember which one I found it in. It must have been in that pocket for a couple of years. 
at least, because it was B-Sides London. It was one of the first ever uh, big talks I gave at a security conference or to like in that, that format of a, of a venue or uh, yeah, that format really. Um, it's actually, it's on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and type in hacking RF, breaking what we can't see and B-Sides London, that, that was it. It was my first sort of talk on that scale. And that is where I, I, I met them and got that business card. Um, and yeah, found it in pandemic and went, okay, cool. Let's, let's see if they're still selling their things. Uh, hi. Okay, right. Okay, right. I'm definitely going to stop. I'm, I'm going to ignore the chat now. Again, definitely. This time. Um, okay, I'm sort of avoiding this because I'm not too sure. Is this a... It, it is? Okay, cool. So this is a home safety starter kit. Window and door sensor, motion sensor and hub. So I'm assuming there's some fun shit we could do with that. So I would say, depending whether it's using Wi-Fi to connect to the motion sensor or the window door sensor, I could probably use an SDR to lift those signals, maybe do some stuff with it. In fact, I wonder if they protect it against jamming. That would be cool. Hmm. Getting off topic, but I mean, they've sent me out a fucking home safety starter kit to break. He must have been having a clear out. He must must have been. He must have been. Do you know what? I've got too much crap lying about. Let's let's just let's just fire it off. Oh, I like how it's uh, it specifies smartphone not included. Well, that's good. Uh, I would be very disappointed if I thought that the smartphone was included. That's cool. Do you know what I might do? So I do already have an alarm in here. Um, for for this for here because there's a lot of expensive shit. I might set this up as well and then see what we can do to get past it. That would be cool. That that might be a project. Stay tuned for that. Um, uh, some USB extenders. That's handy for if nothing else for those so that I can um, if it doesn't fit on the uh, on the USB board. And I think this is instructions. Yeah, so this is for the uh, uh, 4 4 coin. I don't think there's any SMD components. Do they mention SMD? Don't think there's any SMD. So, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Nicely laminated too, so it won't get wrecked. Uh, I will go through that separately and my god. So oh, that's that's us. Right. Jesus. Um so he did ask, he said, How are you for soldering irons? To, to wit I replied, Yeah, I've got um I've got a couple. Um one of them is held together with duct tape and dreams, but uh, yeah, I've got got them and They've, uh, they've sent me out a soldering station. Well, oh. Jeez, that's... Th th this is a good one. Ten minutes of sleep, that is handy. It's got a sleep timer on it. The other one I had doesn't, so I just burn the head because I forget to... Um, forget to, to turn the bloody thing off. Yeah, well our heads. Jesus. So he, he, he did, uh, they did give me some criteria on whenever they sent me out this, um, this kit. And there was three things they wanted. One, that in the video, um, which I'm going to put this up on YouTube, uh, which is why I was trying to avoid uh, I'm looking at all the messages. Um, one of the things they asked was that I, I say about David Parr's Flower Parr Tarshar Um Two, that I gave some of the idiots away. Uh, I think they, they said about 10. I'll, I, I think they've sent me out 15, if I remember from the emails. I will probably give away more than 10. Um, because they're cool kits and I want more people to do cool stuff with them. Um, so that's fine. Doing that, that's going to be part of the giveaway that I'll be doing later on. And the, the last thing was that if we're ever in the same location, we'll meet up for a cup of coffee. I think I'm buying. <laughs> this 
is I, I can't believe they've sent this all out. This is amazing. This is going to be so much fun. Um, let's have a look at this bag. I am assuming a ton of goodies. Uh, so it's a Ethernet board. Yeah, all right, Ethernet development, development de 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 Ethernet development board of some shape or form. Cool. Hmm. You know, I was always wanting to make. Uh, yeah, you know, this is a tangent. We can talk about that another time. Uh, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. Let's have a look. Lots of cables and things. Three volt, four volt. Haggard board. DC. I'm gonna need to Google that one. Not sure what that is. Taggard. Why does Taggard ring a bell? Hmm. Cortex. Gonna need to Google that one. Oh, wait, hang on. What's this in the back? Select target. Bridge hack bypass. That's just a bit magic. Haggard tow security securing hardware. Hmm. I'm going to Google that one. It rings a bell, but I can't remember why. Oh. The cat wants in. Ugh. Oh, that's about as far as that's opening. Shit, is this a this this is this is a touch screen. Yeah, this is a LCD shield for an Arduino, I'm assuming. Probably probably working on Pi too. Uh, maybe for a Pi will work for an Arduino. I don't know. Cool, touch screen. OLED board. That's handy actually, that might work in my pineapple. Hold on, let me get that. Yeah, so, uh, sorry not my pineapple, my pumpkin pie. This is the, the little wireless um, hacking device um, that I threw together. I had to ditch the e-ink display because I ran out of space, but do you know what? I think I think that might fit quite nicely. Would you reckon? Huh, that yeah. That might be getting used pretty damn quick. Uh, a little humidity sensor. <laughs> nice. Um, these are uh, LED matrices, matrices, and it looks like they've, uh, I don't think they've soldered these together, I think they've came like this. Yeah, they look like they've been, uh, they've been machined that way. That's quite cool. Uh, <laughs> crap ton of uh, male to male jumpers, definitely always useful. Actually, very useful because I cannot find my stash of these, and trying to breadboard was a nightmare. Uh, this is a little uh, ultrasonic. Uh, what's the term? Gets distance. A bit like radar, effectively. Um, very cool. Oh, this is. The Oh, this is the uh, baby brother of the uh, big one that I showed. Oh, it has a big chunky microcontroller on the back of it. Hang on, why does that have a microcontroller on the back of it? I wonder, can this do something cool? Hmm. Uh, and another, uh, another screen. 
Oh, it's, it's a touch screen. It's actually a touch screen as well. My God. Do you know what? That, that would be, that would be very cool on that. Instead of um, having to wirelessly go in and, and um, tinker with the, the software, if you just had a touch screen. Mm. Plans are afoot. Uh, was this? I think this is another screen. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, another screen. A joystick. Not sure what that is. Clock. No, need to Google that one. Not, not, not too sure what that is. Little tiny board. Uh, TF2 breakout board. So that's another screen. <laughs> wow, that's it screen with what looks like a sim card slot on it Adafruit LCD breakout board yeah. mm. that's how the Adafruit have tons of libraries there really good uh, what's this little controller I think this is a motor controller unsure it's got a big chip no it must be something no this must be a power hold on we're looking into this one um, got a big chunky heat sink on it so it must be doing somewhat with PR. Why is that? There's a, a MOSFET. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a, a boost converter, voltage converter or some shape or form. Hmm. Did you Google the data sheet on that one? Or actually just read the IC. Uh, but yeah, need to check that one. is oh this is a channel analyzer oh cool very cool okay awesome so screen if you remember at the start I said about um, the hack the box where you're sending the signal receiving the signal and, and doing stuff like that um, and they uh, they had probes on the uh, on the two data lines on this if you wanted to do that in your house you would use signal analyzer and so you put two channels of this onto the board and you can read the information that's going through very cool very cool um i don't know with a channel analyzer this can i can you program i don't know if you could maybe you can i'll have to ask steve you might be able to so I don't know whether you can send signals with an analyzer. I assumed it was just read, but um, I, I could be wrong. I could find out. Uh, uh, what have we got? Oh, there's two more things. Whoops, I thought there was only one. Uh, that looks like a Wi-Fi board of some shape or form. Hopefully you can see that. Because uh, that looks like a uh, ESP something. Mm. Yeah, not too sure. Wi-Fi, I'm assuming, or something in that frequency range. Could be LoRa. I can't remember what LoRa LoRa actually transmits in. Um, and we have jumper cables, I believe. I think so. I think jumper cables. Nice. Wow. <laughs> so that's what was in my care package. I, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm definitely buying the drinks. Um, wow. Uh, Steve and everyone else in uh, Raw Hacks. Okay, thanks. I, I don't know what to say. I definitely will use a drink. Um, I cannot wait to start breaking things. <laughs> um, for everyone else, I'm going to be doing uh, the giveaways of the uh, actual kits soon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give away some of them 
um, just as a, a draw, I'll do some way of doing it and then we can, we can dish them out. Um, I think I maybe do that with five of them. Uh, the other five, I was going to try and do some form of CTF, sort of capture the flag, like a competition, and the first five people to complete it then get, get Hideot kits. And I was thinking of trying to think of other things I could throw in for, you know, first, second, third, so you get a Hideot kit and something else. Um, not sure what yet, but that's what I'm planning. Um, so that's the 10. The other 15, a few of them, I'm, I'm going to abuse and abuse. Um, one of them is earmarked by a colleague that I work with who really wants to get into hardware hacking and doesn't know where to start, so I'm gifting him one of them. Um, that's the perks of working with me. I'm a delight. Um, I have to make up for it in some way. So yeah, uh, the others, we'll see. If I use them, if I don't, I might, um, uh, might also give them away as well. So yeah, uh, the badges as well. I, I didn't expect to get so many badges, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Well, I'm obviously going to build one of each and uh, fiddle about with them. Um, I can't remember what the 4-4 four four coin does. I cannot remember. I need to check what it actually does. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of them. So yeah, wow. Uh, let me let me grab the camera, see if there's any questions. Uh, also apologies, you're going to get some. Uh, oh, hold on. Why, why have we got... Ugh, why, why are we giving praise to Kieran? Let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm catching up on... Uh, Questions? Okay, right, so I think that's where I last seen. Sorry, the uh, the uh, mic's going to be a bit loud. I am turning it around. Boink. Oh, sorry, I'm sure that was loud. It's going to be loud again. Okay, hopefully he's hearing me now. Let's see. Currently open box sent to him by some full tech goodies. Yes, that is what happened. Let me see an LED matrix. Yes, soldering machine. Not live on Twitch. I might be going doing a thing where I can go live on Twitch at the same time. I was thinking of doing that mostly for... Oh, hold on, let's, let's point you at some of the actual goodies. Um, I sent it in that for something where I'm actually working with a screen because on Twitch it's easier to show the the, the screen of what I'm doing. Um, but no, I am not at the minute, obviously. Uh, If you want us to tell you, show it for a few more seconds. Don't know what that was in reference to electric roll. Sorry, I was too excited. I was going through everything. Um, yeah, uh, I need to go through and actually, because I need to read what's on the back of them. <laughs> I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. Oh, motor driver. Oh, yeah. That, uh... Uh, this one. See, that, that was my first thought, but I thought that this was a bit beefy for a motor driver. But, yeah. Oh, actually, I've been trying to uh, build a robot. That could be useful. Um, so, yeah, I thought I thought the heatsink was a bit chunky for just a motor driver, but then I suppose depending on the size of the motors that it can, um, can do. It's a Bluetooth module. Oh, the... Uh, uh, this one. Bluetooth. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the same frequency as um, as Wi-Fi. Uh, I believe it wants us to manage ourselves. Yeah, we, yeah, you are you are basically unsupervised there because I couldn't see the chat. Uh, let's see a micro bit, yeah. And RF for the win. Anybody interested in a Twitch stream where I attempt to build a robot and feel horribly? Oh, you're you're stealing my ideas. Hold on. Hey, see my ugly mug. Um, yeah, I uh, I was talking with John Beer, who's another uh, Twitch guy. Go follow him. He's he's close to a thousand followers, so he can actually start to go live. Um, and we were we were talking about this about building robots, like smallish ones, um, like battle robots. 
and then making them controllable from like a, a web UI or something like that and have it we're live on with you guys and you can control the robot so we could have like uh, so we would obviously need to do some form of I don't know lottery or draw to see who actually gets to control uh, the, the robots and they'd also need a separate feed because there's a lag on this that wouldn't do well to battling robots um, and have it uh, that you know, they can control and fight the bots and then you want to another person whenever someone loses and, and do that I thought that would be quite cool that's something we talked about whether or not we actually get that to happen and build the robots and, and have that interface I think the interface would be fine it's building the robots um, but I have oh, oh, oh I have I have a few of these boyos. If you manage to make a Bluetooth uh, module work with an Arduino, can you make a video with it? Sure, I think people have made Bluetooth modules work with Arduinos, I think. Um, can I do a WWE style commentary? We're not doing this unless you do a WWE style commentary. Um, but what I'm sure is these uh, big chunky motors. Um, it's yeah these these are these are good now i was originally planning these to drive the wheels of a, a robot that i was building a while ago that didn't happen um but i was thinking in the smaller robots something like this because i mean it, it's big and chunky but it's not massive but something like this could actually drive like a weapon so i love spinners in robots and so i mean something like this would drive a fairly chunky spinner um and I've got a couple of these sitting around doing nothing. So yeah. There are definitely plans afoot, but we we will we will see we'll see how well they uh they plan out pan out. Yeah. And I mean if you want to go excessive, I've got this. Um if you uh, if you've seen the channel, you've seen this running, um, and this running at thirty volts scares the bejesus out of me. Um, it's it it sounds terrifying. Check out the the, the video on the channel, um, but yeah, this is this is a motor out of an um, electric lawnmower, and um, yeah, it it can go a fair lick, and I would not want to get hit by it, um, especially not at the minute because it's got lovely like overheating protection and all that shit. Turned all that off. Who cares? Who cares about overheating the motor? More heat means more fire. More fire means more better. So, yeah, this was what was going to go into my other robot, the one, the, the proper size one that I was building, before they cancelled Robot Wars. I'm I'm still not over it. I'm not. Coming back, I'm coming back. But yeah, that's all I was going to go over. I am now going to go and record. And sadly, I'm not going to go... We all want to see the flamethrower. Do you know what? It wouldn't be hard to make a flamethrower. WHC, World Hacking Championships. There probably is. There probably is a World Hacking Championships. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I'm going to record the videos um, for the Ringo. So the phone, I think I, I showed it before the DIY mobile phone, I've decided to record them rather than going live. And I'm going to record them in chunks just because I want to make them more structured as tutorials of how to build this device um, rather than doing it live and me talking with you and answering questions and stuff like that. I would like to do that, but I've only got one of these devices. And so I want the, the thing that I want most is to, to have this structured. Here's how you do this and talk a bit about the cool stuff of it. So that's that's what's happening. Um, if I manage to get another one somehow, I'll I'll do I'll do a live, and build it live and sort of show the process. They say it'll take about five hours. With me, that's probably going to take about ten because, you know. But that is everything. Um, I am now going to sign off. So thank you everyone for watching me waffle about the free stuff that I got sent for just existing. Um, still can't believe it. Yeah, really owe them. I owe them a few pints, I think. 
Um, but yes, thanks everyone for watching. Um, we will, I will see you soon.